how to run a business. Um, I just started out perfectly happy being an employee um, and I didn't expect to be able to run every aspect of a business. I'm not great with the accounts, but um, I can do them. Um, and I think uh, knowing who to call in if there's something you can't do is very important and not something I, I didn't think I'd be in a position where I could say, right, okay, I don't know about this, but I know the right person to talk to. That helps, but that's taken a few years of talking to lots of people, going to lots of events and expos and shows and all this kind of stuff. Just talking to people, getting business cards, emailing people if you've got a problem. Um, you freely ask people for advice, people you've met. Definitely. Them, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, all the time. And people are willing to give it. They are, yeah, yeah. I mean, if, if people turn up at, an, at a, an event, an expo, something like that, they're, they're there willing to talk. So, so talk to them, yeah, definitely. I think what I've learned is I am capable of enduring an awful lot more than I would have imagined. Um, yeah, yeah I, I've learned I am really tough. <laughs> what I've been really taken aback by with our organisation is how our brand community has been built. We have a very strong customer following and I studied brand um, communities at, at university and I thought there was a a system in place, you know, Harley Davidson have been brilliant at it, um, Nike are really good at it, you know, they build communities, people who engage with each other who are around that brand. It happened organically and I've since looked at it and thought actually that's the only way it can happen, the only way you can build a community is organically. But we were really, really fortunate and, it, and it was, there was no science behind it, you know, you just have to trust your customers, find a way for them to engage with each other and then let it happen because actually when your customers create a community around your brand your, your, your business just soars because word of mouth just happens itself I've, I've learnt I've learnt as a leader you have to really spend a lot of time with people and you can only deliver through people um, yes I can go out and sell jobs etc but actually delivering them so it's really important to spend even if it feels like it's not good time spent is good time spent with your, with your team um, and encouraging them, helping them, etc. So your role, uh, my, my spend more time with your team is one of the things I've really learned and that's really important. Um, I've probably become a bit more, um, from a, a bit more uh, decisive um, because I think as you, um, as you sort of take um, as you build your company, um, you have to make decisions. Um, and the, the risk is that you don't make a decision <clears throat> and things just kind of move on without without making a specific decision, even if it's the wrong decision. If you make the decision uh, and then move on, it's, it's much, you can navigate from those, those points. So, uh, so yeah, probably a bit more, a bit more dogmatic. Um, but uh, I think the most important thing is to spend more time with people and uh, work with them to help help them to achieve what they uh, they need to achieve to deliver what we we deliver as a company. So, oh, uh, sales! I didn't know I could do sales, but I absolutely love it, uh, and it's much more enjoyable. People think hard sales t uh, sounds terrible, but if somebody walks off with like um, eighty five quid sledge in May in Wiltshire, <laughs> then it's a personal achievement, and they look happy too. I guess a lot of it's been a, quite a, a sort of process of self-discovery. So I've learned more about myself. I've learned about my strengths. I've learned about my weaknesses, um, and I've learned to really listen to myself. And I've learned a lot about the process, the business side of it, and, and setting up a business and what's involved. So there's been aspects of that that I didn't know about. So I've learned about them. I've also learned that um, I want to understand every aspect of it, and. Once I understand that, then I can feel more confident about going forward. So I've, I've definitely learned a huge amount about, about me as a person. I didn't expect at this stage in my life I would be learning so much, um, but I love it. I absolutely love it. When I go back and do television stuff now, I'm kind of like, oh yeah, right. What do you want me to do? Okay. And I read the words and I leave and I think, that was much fun. <laughs> learning about the process of a business that's I'm, exciting I've, or just doing something new? I think learning how to bring a product to market, just exercising parts of my brain that I think probably had sort of gone to sleep 
Um, I was never one of these women that could just happily do lunch and go shopping. I don't think that's me. Um, my children are now of an age where they're leaving home and it's great that I'm, I've got something else to focus on and not kind of obsess about it.